for those interested in how to make a branch line heavyweight passenger car run like it's supposed to run, here's what I did. Now I'm going to use Walter's heavyweight passenger trucks and the number that I used was number 920-2204 and you can also use 2203. First, remove the interior of the car, including the metal weight. And with a 3 drill, a number 3 drill, drill a hole in the bottom of the car, but not all the way through. You're going to drill it in the hole that's closest to the middle of the car. There are two holes there, but the hole that's closest to the middle of the car is the one that you're going to use. I'm going to use Evergreen, it's a polystyrene tube. It's going to be 3 16th of an inch tube. And that's what I'm going to use to make a shaft for the truck to fit on. Now you need to make a shim so that the truck will not fit too close to the truck. And I mean to the body of the of the car. What I used was a point zero six zero, a sixteen millimeter styrene. It's a sheet of styrene that I use, and you're going to have to drill a three sixteenth hole in it, and you're going to make it round so that the trucks will not bind on it. Now with a Dremel tool or something similar, you're going to have to cut away part of the undercarriage of the truck, but make sure that you leave that area raised around where the hole has been drilled, as shown in the picture. Place the shim and truck over the hole, insert the tube, and measure where you're going to cut the tube. After cutting that tube, even with the bottom of the truck, you're ready now to glue it and the shaft in the place. And after that, you're ready to mount your truck. Now, if you plan to light the car, what you can do is drill a small hole into the body as shown for the wires to be inserted. It's going to be one over each end of the, each truck. And that way you can insert a small wire. What I use was a very small flexible wire. It was something called uh, a silicone ultra flexible 30 gauge wire that I bought from Amazon. Here's how I mounted the wires to the trucks. Make sure that you notch you cut out a little notch on the floor of the interior of the car so that the wires will not pinch and bind because those trucks need to be able to move from left to right freely. And this will allow that to move. If you pinch it, it won't move. After installing your lights in the car, you're ready to install the trucks using a number six by one half inch panhead Phillips screw. And the thing of it is, it'll make its own threads as you screw it down in there. I also took those swinging couplers off and I body mounted the couplers. It's ready to put on the layout and run now. I hope you can get some enjoyment out of that car. And I hope this helped you in some way to see what it's like to try to make that worth something. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this.